Smiles are often a good thing. When you make somebody smile, typically it means you make them happy, or you made them laugh, or they just like to look at you. It, sim it normally symbolizes happiness and grace. Now you notice I said often? Sometimes a smile is creepy or disturbing. This is the basis of the smiling man. It's about a guy that goes out on a walk during the nighttime and along the way he sees a man. At first he thinks the man is drunk because he's walking really awkwardly, almost like he's dancing. But he's moving too graciously to be drunk. Well, the guy crosses the street so this dancing man can pass him by with no problem, but instead he stops and stares at him with this big creepy smile. The guy starts to feel a bit uncomfortable, much like anyone would, and starts to try and get away. The smiling man basically follows him wherever he goes, in that same dancing pattern. Well, after a while, he tur the main character turns around and asks the smiling weirdo, What the fuck do you want? But it's in more of a scaredish kind of whimper. The smiling man then disappears in the night, and then seconds later starts running after the guy. God damn, this is one hell of a weirdo. The guy runs off into an area that has some cars and some lighting to it. That way others would see the smiling nut job and hopefully be able to get him to scram. But this time, the main character isn't followed. After that night, he never goes out on a midnight stroll ever again. Can't say I blame him. Now this is a creepypasta that plays heavily on psychological fear. It makes your imagination run completely wild, and if you put yourself in that perspective of the main character, it'll only be that much more scary. I think the biggest appeal to this story is the smiling man itself. We don't know why he kept following this poor guy, or why he always smiles, and apparently he loves to dance on the streets at night. Maybe he wanted to scare the hell out of, the, out of a random guy he found on the streets, or maybe he was just looking for a place to practice his dancing. Hell, maybe he was just looking for a Coney Island that's open 24 hours so he could find something to eat. <laughs> okay, I highly doubt that, but you get the point. I highly recommend this creepypasta. It plays on the fear of the unknown and is written very well. Give it a listen, and you'll know what I mean.